question number 18 is another beautiful question and there's a sphere of radius r at temperature t and it says the black body radiation inside can be considered as ideal gas of photons with internal energy per unit volume or internal energy density directly proportional to t raised to the power 4 and pressure as this much if the shell goes an adiabatic expansion then we got to relate temperature and radius let's try to see from the first expression i'll get u as k v t raised to the power 4 and that can be written as 4 pi by 3 k r cube t raised to the power 4 that's equation number one and from the second one i could easily see that p equals to 1 by 3 multiplied by u by v and u is already this much so what can i say is that p equals to 1 by 3 times k raised to the power t by 4 that's what i've done because u by v is k t raised to the power 4 and this is equation number 2 now based on these two expressions I got to relate the temperature and radius and of course adiabatic so that means heat supplied is zero so du would be minus of dw now the change in internal energy du can be manifested from here 4 pi k by 3 is constant and r cube t4 would be r cube 4 t cube dt plus T4 3R square dr equals to minus of dw. dw is the elementary work done. So that's P dv and P is this much 1 by 3 k t raised to the power 4 dv is 4 pi r square dr. Seems a bit lengthy but it's quite an easy expression and when you solve this you'll get r dt plus t dr is 0 indicating d of tr is 0 and this implies tr would be a constant if you go for the integration of this function meaning the temperature is inversely proportional to radius so now with this we'll move to question number 19 19 is from kinematics and it shows there is a cliff of height 240 meter and there are two balls A and B thrown upward with these given speed. Assuming no rebound, that means when any of the ball falls, there would be no rebound. Which of the following graph best represents time variation of relative position of second with respect to first? If you see that, initially both would be in air and till that time relative acceleration is zero. And relative acceleration would be g after a falls to the ground and it remains here and if you calculate that the time of flight for a that's an easy calculation would be 8 second so till 8 second the relative motion is a linear one in terms of displacement the relative position because the acceleration relative is 0 till 8 second so that would be linear 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 so all these three options are correct and even this one that's 240 meter that would be invalid because this shows linearity in relative position till 12 second however linearity would be there only till 8 second and after that when a comes to ground the speed of b keeps on increasing that means the relative speed would also increase and you could see option number one fits because the slope of this relative position gives the relative speed and the slope continuously increases in first graph so option number one would be correct so question number 19 has correct option as answer one